Hello, friend. Welcome to Android Chats, written in Kotlin. This is Golden Thumb. Um, in last video, we mentioned the PGN, Portable Game Notation for Chats, right? This one. It looks like that. It looks like that. So there are some um, description of the, a game, and here are those game moves. If we take a closer look of this one, um, let me print out this guy here. Okay. PGN. Oh. Um, that's, I mean, this one, that's, uh, print out of the chessboard here. And, uh, we'll realize one thing here. So those are game moves. So this is the first pair of white move and, uh, black move here. So E4 is here, E4. So you see, if we want to parse this PGN file text, we have to understand this move, right? So do you realize to figure out the E4 for the first move, we have to implement we have to implement the game rules before we can do that, right? E4 here, we have to figure out there's only one piece can move to this, this spot. So there's no ambiguity here. Okay, so uh, step by step, we'll implement our chess rules for every piece and uh, so in this video let's do some um, refactoring um, okay so one thing i realized is rank is a terminology used in chess world so this is called a rank a row is called a rank in the in, in the chess world and a column is called a file, F-I-L-E. And uh, here we can say rank 1, rank 2, rank 3, here, rank 4, okay? So in that case, we'd better rename this guy, chess rank to something else. Chess man is a good name. So rename chess man instead of rank we'll use the rank and the file for um, the real thing okay then make sure we it works run it oh no this is not the app here we want to add, run the app okay and another thing we want to do is um, I want to create a, a square data class for the location like on the chessboard in so we can improve their function signature like that four parameters we can make it like from a square to the destination square okay so let's do it so right click somewhere here cutting class in the file square it means a location intersection um, on the chessboard logical chessboard data class okay yes we'll add this new file to our git control so here we'll define a column and uh, 
roll. Like that. Um, okay. So we'll use this guy. Here. Um, piece at. Right? And uh, move piece from. Let's do this first. So from square and uh, to the destination square like that. Now if we compile it, we'll get error, right? So yeah, here. Let's fix it one by one. From piece, um, we'll create a square from column from row to square to column. Hmm? Oh, it's column and row. Okay, anything else? Class manager is not abstract to do implementation. Oh, um, override. Okay, so here we'll change that to um, from square to square, right? And uh, we don't need this one now. Did it? Move piece. Yeah, just from two, right? And we also want to change. It. Oh, so here will be from dot column from dot row, right? To dot column to dot row, like that. Cool. So we'll we'll fix this now. Move piece. Um, We can simply add another one here. We can copy this one. Move piece. And uh, go back to here. Move piece. We'll simply call, right? Call this guy. And from dot column from dot row to dot column to dot row right and uh, we actually can make this guy private yeah we open we open this one to the external world um similarly Okay, so let's see if it works. So here, receive move. Okay, um, yeah, we will imprint. We'll use move piece uh, square. We can copy those two things here, right? And uh, the destination, we can copy those two here. Yeah, now we can delete this one and run again. Okay, finally, it compiles. 
Let's make a move. Yes, it works. Um, let's continue with the other one. Um, so here, um, piece at um, square, right? Square. Okay, now let's go back to here we have a piece at here so square piece at yeah here we need to modify our chess game to create one here function Piece at square and uh, return as we move this one. So chess piece question mark and we can return piece at no uh, yeah so square dot column and the square dot row right. We can simply call this one and now let's make this one private. Hmm? Enter. Yeah. Cool. So, close this one. Close this one. Close this one. Peace out. Okay, that's good already. And. What's wrong here? Oh, piece at chest delegate piece at okay. So here from column and from row okay. Um, yeah, we can use that right. Copy that and put it here. Is everything okay? Not yet piece at so here column and row draw pieces uh -huh. okay let's give it a try yes Cool. So basically, we create a square um, data class in Kotlin to group the column and the row. Okay. So now the move piece function looks better, right? From two, right? Okay. Thank you for watching. See you next time.